early, you had a, a bunch of different revenue models. One that was kind of interesting uh, was the surveys. Can you talk a little bit about the Google surveys and, and how that uh, played out? Yeah. Yeah. So sort of picking up there after a few years of the ad network, the site, it, it kept growing, but I was like, man, to end, you know, to ever turn this into a, a six figure income or a business that I can sell, I'm going to need to like two, three, four X traffic and just keep feeding that traffic beast all day, every day, which is, it was just me at the time, which is really difficult. Um, so I was like looking into other ways to monetize and I had done, so I tried some local direct ads, but working with sp local sports bars is like impossible. Um, I had tried some affiliate stuff with like local t-shirt vendors and that did okay at times. I was like, I really need something else that's consistent. And I just happened to read this article about these things called Google consumer surveys. And you might still see them today on like YouTube videos where you'll get like a research question and you have to answer it before you could watch the video. Well, that was actually born out of this like extra, Google employees get like an extra 20% of their time to tinker and like create. And yeah. that's what that came out of. And someone's like, we're going to come up with something for small publishers to help monetize their audience without putting up a paywall. And an advertiser will pay us 10 cents and us, Google, will keep five and we'll pay five cents to it, whatever publisher can generate a click and an answer. And so I had these readers. It was like a very consistent readership. So... I threw them on our homepage and I told the readers what they were. I was like, if you want to support the site, do this. And it took my revenue, you know, more than doubled it overnight and put me, you know, decently into six figures. And I was like, okay, this, this is now workable. And then Google eventually told me that I was one of their highest click through rates um, hmm. in the whole program. They were working with 200 local newspapers and publishers but they were putting them on articles and people would see them and they didn't know what they were and 15 or 20% of people would click through and the rest would just leave. But for my site, the, the rate was like 65% because it was the same people every day. They knew it was one guy and, and they wanted to support the site. And I don't know how many people were truthful in their answers, but they answered them and I got the five cents, you know, along the way. And so you got the thing up to, you know, low six, six figures. And then I, I understand Google made a decision that, really cut that for you what, what happened yeah so to this day i will never answer one of those uh i'll skip those out of spite so the it was a very small team at google working on this because again it was spun up in their labs and i had a human contact at google the guy would call me he was in san fran we would talk about the warriors and the sixers which is very rare if anyone's ever dealt with google you usually don't get a person um and he called me one day and he's like listen we've decided our company not us but our our company has decided that we could just put these on our own YouTube videos or in our, in our Android platform because we have audience. So why should we pay out 50% of this 10 cents to publishers? We have eyeballs. And they took, you know, my, my revenue literally went from, you know, $200 a day, $250 a day. And when it's just me, that was, you know, decent money to, um, uh, you know, two cents, like literally two cents overnight. And I had just, you know, my wife had just quit her job. We just had a kid. And I was, you know, I was like, oh. you know, shame on me. I had put a lot of my eggs in that basket. It was easy money. Um, and I learned a lot about diversifying revenue after that. But that stung and it was difficult and really frustrating because Google had created that for small publishers. And then they just decided to, to kind of rug pull the thing.